Hey everyone, my name is Rachel and in this video I'm going to discuss the differences between bunnies, rabbits, and hares. To stay up to date with my latest rabbit care videos or to just see a cute bunny, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, as well as turn on your notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Anyways, let's get right into the video. So number one, the difference between bunnies and rabbits is... Da -da -da -da. Nothing. <laughs> the term bunnies and rabbits are used interchangeably. I think of them as just both nicknames for bunny rabbit. Sometimes people will say bunnies are babies while rabbits are adults. However, I've seen the words used interchangeably, so you can use bunny or rabbit, whatever you prefer. The real difference though is between rabbits and hares. So hares are actually a different species from rabbits, but they do fall in the same family, which is the Leporidae family. I could be pronouncing that wrong, but I'll make sure I put it on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. So now I'm just going to discuss the main differences between hares and rabbits. Hares tend to have longer ears as well as longer hind legs and also be just a little bit larger in size than rabbits are. Also a fun fact is hares coloring actually change between the seasons while bunnies coloring stays consistent all year long. The second big difference is behavior. So hares are a lot less social than rabbits and are a lot more timid. Rabbits love the company of their own kind and in the wild they tend to be found in large groups or in pairs, while hares tend to be found in pairs or alone except during mating season. Hares tend to be more skittish than rabbits. I know it's hard to believe because rabbits can be pretty skittish as well, but hares are a lot more skittish than rabbits. Hares are in fact so skittish that the slightest stimulus can spook them and eventually lead to their death. That's why hares are really not good pets. They can't be domesticated like our house rabbits are, and they're never really going to relax in a human's presence they're always going to be on edge. You guys know that house rabbits, for example, though, can relax in a human's presence. Take Milo or Heidi, for example, who love to flop over and love to hang out and sleep all the time. They, of course, are really comfortable around me, but that's also because they trust me. But a hare, for example, I wouldn't be able to form that same relationship with them and they wouldn't be able to trust me the same way just because they're always on edge. The third big difference is burrowing and nesting. So hares do not burrow while rabbits do, with the exception of the cottontail rabbit that that does not burrow. Instead of burrowing, hares tend to make nests above ground. Number four, the next difference between rabbits and hares is their diet. Rabbits prefer grasses and vegetables. Take Milo and Heidi, for example, who love their kale and eat tons of hay, but hares actually prefer to eat twigs and bark. Number five is newborns. Hares are actually born fully developed while rabbits are not. When I say rabbits aren't developed, I mean that they're born hairless, blind, and can't regulate their own body temperature, so they need a lot of care from their mothers. While hares are born with open eyes, hair, and can regulate their own body temperature. Just to wrap us up, I have a little fun fact for you. A jackrabbit is actually a hare. Pretty interesting. That's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.